this is stunning good morning everyone june 15th how do you know that there are cyclists on the campground well just look behind me <laughs> three bikes we're at lake louise we're heading to banff today the weather continues to be cold at least today is not raining so hopefully we're going to arrive in good spirits at banff we'll do laundry get everything dried my tent is wet my sleeping bag is wet my clothes are wet everything is wet basically so let's get this day started let's get to banff a big difference about the lake louise campground was the presence of an electrified fence it was there to protect campers from wildlife specifically bears this was the first time i saw a fence like this around a campground but i would see it again on my approach to banff riding out of the village of lake louise we headed for the bow valley parkway or highway 1a a 50-kilometer scenic route that parallels Trans-Canada Highway 1. This meant a lot less car traffic. We are now riding on the Bow Valley Parkway, not to be confused with the Dawn Valley Parkway. I'm all dressed up in my sexy socks and sexy <laughs> shorts. <laughs> this is what you do when your riding pants don't dry. But let's do it. I have no idea what they're training for, but they're training for something and it looks super cool. Maybe cross-country skiing? Maybe they're just having fun. The ride was magical. The parkway meandered through forest and with each climb we were rewarded with exceptional downhills. We were also not alone. Lots of motorcycle riders and other cyclists enjoyed the route. Looks like I'm entering the closed section of the Bow Valley Parkway. Look at that. No cars allowed. Right. Cyclists Good only. Morning. The eastern part of the Bow Valley Parkway was close to vehicle traffic. This is part of a pilot project. This meant a lot more cyclists on the road, which was fantastic to see, because I never get tired of saying hi to fellow riders. Riding on the Legacy Trail into Banff, finished with the Bow Parkway and here's what it looks like parallels the road but it is a separated cycle track approaching Banff the village and the views are absolutely spectacular Vermilion Lakes stunning stunning this is so beautiful lots of cyclists Lots of people. On our arrival in the village of Banff, we had two tasks. Find a laundry mat to wash and dry everything. And we also needed to find a grocery store to restock on food. All right, I've set up camp in the middle of what seems like a, a shopping complex, mall type thing. The laundry place is downstairs. We did laundry. I dried my sleeping bag. I dried my clothes, so check for the, both of those. But they wouldn't allow us a place to dry our tents. If you were to ask me a couple of weeks ago would I be able to do this, I would be like, no, I can't do this. But that's what it has to be for now because I need to dry my tent to be able to sleep tonight. We had one more surprise waiting for us on our way to the campground. The sun had come out and what lay in front of us was glorious. This is stunning! We're just approaching the Turtle Mountain campground in Banff and we climbed a pretty, pretty nasty hill and we were all a bit demoralized, but then look at this. We rode ahead a bit more and then we saw them, the hoodoos, the rock pillars made of glacial material that led me to changing my route because I just needed to see more of them. And those are the hoodoos. Oh my God. We didn't know this was here! What a gift! Energized by the discovery, we headed to the Tunnel Mountain Village One campground. We would love a tent site for two tents. Good morning everyone, June 16th. Just leaving the beautiful city of Banff. Banff, you've been glorious. Heading to Canmore today. We met an amazing group of cyclists today who, at the Hoodoos, who told us about um, sights to see when going through the prairies. Now, many people believe that prairies are boring, flat, nothing to see. 
that's not the case. There's always something to see. And now I have ideas of what to see. So I'm going to adjust my route once again because I have some things to see in the prairies. All right, but for the time being, let's go Canmore and bye beautiful Banff. We're riding on a separated bike trail, which is fantastic. Now, I don't know if this is Legacy Trail already or whether we're going to be joining Legacy Trail momentarily. This is very nice. We're on Legacy Trail now. Next to us, beautiful river or a creek or some sort of a water. On this side, we have the beautiful Trans Canada Highway number one. Next to the creek is the railway. We just had a screeching train come by, but for now it's gone. And of course, the Legacy Trail, which is a bikeway. So different forms of transport available. Love it. Welcome to Canmore. Hello. We had a few errands to run in Canmore. First, lunch. Then, a visit to a bike shop for me to get some degreaser for my chain. Then, we rode to an outdoor shop to have someone look at Marine's stove, which had broken. And only then, we rode to our accommodation for the night. Translation, subscribe. <laughs> and hit the like button.